Hey, this is Anthony Cesari with SuccessForYourSongs.com, and in this video we're going to talk about how to make your chorus stand out from the rest of your song. It's important to make your chorus stand out from the rest of your song because it's usually your song's central element. So with that in mind, we're going to look at a few ideas for creating a successful chorus. I'm going to start by talking about the chorus musically, and then we'll talk about uh, the lyrics of your chorus. So generally, the music in your chorus is going to be the catchiest or the hookiest part of your song. And this mainly applies to the melody, since it'll be the part of your song that your listeners are going to get stuck in their heads. And a big way in which you can achieve creating a catchy chorus will be to make it sound different from the other parts of your song, like the verses and the bridge. Now, musically, you can do that with both your melody and with the chords that you're playing underneath the melody. Um, a popular change that you can make in your melody to stand out from the rest of your song is to have the vocals in the chorus sung higher than they are in the rest of the song. And that really puts the vocals away from what's being sung in the rest of the song. It usually helps to highlight the melody in the chorus, um, and it's typically an appropriate approach. And you can also change the rhythm of the notes in your melody as well. If your verses are quick and choppy melodically, then your chorus can be much more drawn out by comparison. You can even start your melody on a different beat than you did in the verses, and that's often an overlooked approach, but it can be a pretty cool way for creating contrast. So you're not limited to starting every melodic line on the downbeat. You can, you can shift that around, and you can do that from section to section and have that happen on a different beat in your chorus uh, melodically than it does in your, in your verses. So uh, aside from changing the melody, you can also change the chords once the chorus kicks in, obviously. And there are several ways to give your chords a new feel once your chorus hits. A great way to achieve this is to use different chords than you did in other parts of your song. And at the very least, you can start your chorus with a different chord than you did in your other sections. And just changing that first chord alone will make the chorus feel different when the new, that new first chord hits. Uh, a lot of times I hear songwriters use the same chords in the same order for their verses and their choruses, and it tends to make for a tedious song unless your melody has a really strong change from one section to the other. Uh, and in addition to changing the chords from verse to chorus, you can also change how you play your chords. Uh, you can give your, chord, your chorus chords a new feel by playing them for a different length than you did in the earlier sections. Or you can just change the rhythmic pattern or the strumming pattern if you're a guitar player. Uh, you can change that with your chords once your chorus hits. And both of those can be effective strategies for a new sound in your chorus. And then you can also change things lyrically in your chorus as well. Uh, lyrically, the chorus is generally a, a summation of what your song is all about. Titles also typically serve as that summation, but the chorus is usually a slight expansion uh, of the explanation given by the title alone. And that's why the title is usually contained as part of the chorus. And also, since your chorus is usually the hookiest part of your song musically, it makes that title easy to remember when it lands on that catchiest melody. Um, so that's usually an, an effective thing to do within your chorus is to have that catchy melody attached to your title. Uh, and when your chorus is used as a summation of what your song is about, the language tends to be a bit more general uh, and less detail-oriented than it was in your verses. And for that reason, your lyrics also contrast what's happening in the rest of your song. So in other words, by having a detail-specific uh, detail lyrics in your verses and a more vague chorus, it creates this lyrical contrast, which adds to the contrast that you're already creating with your music to create a memorable chorus. And since we just talked a little bit about uh, the music and the lyrics in a chorus, I also just want to quickly mention some song structures that have a chorus, because not every song structure does have a chorus, but there are three very common ones that do. Uh, and in each of these structures, the chorus tends to be the central element of the song, both lyrically and musically. And it's usually not until you get into different types of song structures without a chorus that you can let other sections of your song shine as that catchy, hooky part of your song. So the three most commonly used song structures with a chorus typically read as the first one being verse chorus, verse chorus, bridge chorus, 
the next one being the same as that, but it adds a pre-chorus. So it goes verse, pre-chorus, chorus, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, bridge chorus. And then the last one being verse, chorus, verse, chorus, just omits the bridge that the first two had. And of course, there are variations to all of those, but those three represent the most basic forms. And the third one, uh, the verse, chorus, verse, chorus, tends to be the least common of those three because of the lack of, of a bridge. Uh, because that bridge element can introduce a new sound um, and can prevent the song from sa sounding tedious because, it, because of that new element that's introduced in between the other two sections. So this information should help give you a better understanding of how a good chorus typically functions. So use it to write choruses that pop out of your song uh, as your music weaves from section to section. And if you're looking for uh, additional ways to write memorable songs as uh, a great chorus, we'll often create a memorable song for you. I've got a free cheat sheet for you right below this video. So if you don't have that yet, make sure to grab that. Thanks for checking this out. I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care.